this video, I'm going to talk about consumer surplus and producer surplus with price floors. I'm going to compare consumer surplus before and after a price floor. Then I'll examine producer surplus before and after a price floor. And we'll also calculate the dead weight loss to society of a price floor. As usual, I'll plot price along the vertical axis and quantity per unit of time along the horizontal axis. I'll draw in the supply and demand curves where they intersect as equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity. I'm going to go ahead and fill in some additional numbers here. I'm just making these up on a nice little grid. Consumer surplus is the area above price and below the demand curve. That triangle, or the blue triangle. Consumer surplus is the area of that blue triangle, which is one half times the base times the height. That's the area. The base of the triangle is six. I have one half times the base, which is six. The height of the triangle is 20 minus eight, or 12. That 20 and that eight. Now I have one half times six times the height, which is 12. So it's one half times 72, which is 36. So consumer surplus is 36. Let me erase all of this or take it all off the screen. And now I'm going to talk about producer surplus. Producer surplus is the area below price and above the supply curve or the red triangle right there. The area of this red triangle is one half times base times the height. The base is six. I end up with one half times six. The height is also six. That's eight minus two. That eight and that two, which equals six, of course. This gives me one half times six times six, or one half times 36, which equals 18. So producer surplus is 18. 36 plus 18, 36 plus 18 is equal to 54, and this is total benefit. When I impose a price floor, right there, let's say price floor of 12 or $12 or 12 pounds, whatever. Quantity supplied is nine. And quantity demand is four. What begins to happen is consumer surplus shrinks up to the level of a price floor right there. Some of the area transfers to the producer, which is the yellow rectangle right there. That transfers to the producer, so I'll make that red. So producer surplus becomes the area outlined by the yellow lines. I guess that's a trapezoid. I'm not sure what it's called, but the area right there. I'll get rid of that other triangle. I can calculate these, uh, the area of producer and consumer surplus. So I can calculate the area of the triangle right there. I can also calculate the area of that rectangle and the area of that triangle. The base of the triangle is four, which is the quantity demand coincidentally. The base of the triangle is four also. The height of the triangle is four, six minus two or four. The height of the rectangle is 12 minus 6, 12 minus 6 or 6. And the height of the blue triangle is 20 minus 12 or 8. Consumer surplus is the blue area of the triangle, the blue triangle, which is 1 half times 4 times 8, base times height, which is 16. Producer surplus is the two red areas, the red rectangle and the red triangle right there. 
So the area of the rectangle is 4 times 6, which is 24. The area of the triangle is 1 half times base times the height, which is 8. Total surplus becomes, total producer surplus becomes 24 plus 8, which is 32. Let me rearrange this. So consumer surplus is 16. Producer surplus is 32. When I add those together, I get a total of 48. Should be 48. That's the total benefit. Total benefit after a price floor is 48. Remember, total benefit before the price floor was 54. That means we have a dead weight loss to society of 6, 54 minus 48. That 6 is at uh, the gray triangle there, or that there, so that's dead weight loss. I could calculate the area of the two triangles, which is the area of that triangle here, the top triangle, and the area of this triangle is 4. And the area of the bottom of triangle, if I calculate it, it should be 2. But I'll let you do that on your own, so that area is 2. And of course, 4 plus 2 is 6. Now it's important to compare before and after a price floor. So producer surplus plus uh, consumer surplus added together is equal to that area of all that part, the blue, gray, and red. Consumer surplus before is 36, and it's 16 after, so there's a loss to consumers. Producer surplus is 18 before, and it's 32 after, so producers gain. There's no dead weight loss before the price floor, and the dead weight loss after is 6. So there's a loss to society. So clearly, producers gain from a price floor.